can't believe you were released. It's like a stroke of bad luck. <laughs> Please don't lay on the compliments so thick. Again, Clueless. However, it pains my soul that I partook of such a fine wine without paying a single mira. Shall I play the piano in your restaurant per our contract to remedy that? I think I'm going to have to pass on that. After what happened, I think it would be a bit awkward having you back there. I, for one, don't think he'd mind a bit. Yeah, sure does seem to have some thick skin. Let's just think of this as an unfortunate incident for the both of us. But I don't think I can just let things go like this. Hmm, let's see. Seems you're investigating something at the moment, right? How about I lend my assistance in return for the wine? Huh? Well, that does sound interesting. Could I ask you to join these braces in their work? This is a cruel joke, isn't it, Maybell? Uh -huh. This is this is punishment for us letting the Sky Bandits get away, isn't it? Isn't it? Ha! Could you ever? So it's settled. Let our new working relationship bloom like a magnolia at the height of spring. Hold on a sec. What did we do to deserve this? Your general weirdness aside, simply having an amateur like you around is going to be a pain. Are you confident that you won't dra be a drag on our work? Or our sanity? Well, I'm somewhat confident in my marksmanship and magic, but of course I'd be distressed if you tried to listen my list my musical genius in the same group. That's kind of the line that gets me worried. Well, maybe we could use an extra hand. As long as we can't count on the army to help us out, have the feeling that we'll be short on manpower. Well, all right. We'll use you for what you're worth. However, if we do happen to conclude that you're not worth your weight, you're dumped from the party. AKA as soon as we get another party member. See, Sherazard, already on the same line of thinking. You gonna be okay with that? <laughs> of course I don't mind. I'd never let you down, so please be assured. Reassured, sorry. Well, my expectations of you are pretty much a rock bottom anyway, so I know you won't let me down. <laughs> I'm glad things are settled between you all. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you tell us? Actually, the town did seem pretty noisy as we headed here. What happened? Truth be told, last night there was a large-scale burglary in Bosa's South Block. The weapon shop and Orbal factory were targeted, as were a number of private residences. What? So, was this the work of the Sky Bandits? It's unknown at this time, but it seems highly probable. A unit of the Royal Army is currently conducting an investigation. Which means nothing is going to happen, unless General Morgan reviews things himself. I see. Guess we'd better do our own investigation then. Yes, I'd like to formally request you do just that. I'll send a payment over to the guild for the work you've done so far. Please make use of the money for your current investigation suspenses. expenses. Blah, blah, blah. I have a feeling that the army is going to get in our way again, but I guess when that happens, it happens. Whether they get in our way or not, I don't think we should be forthcoming with the army about any information we come across. If there's really a spy in their midst, they'll just leak into the Sky Bandits. Though I'm reluctant to say it, I also think it's best to keep quiet about our findings. Anyway, let's act with prudence. Alrighty, my bosom companions, shall we head to the South Block? Look, buddy, who made you king of the show? Nobody. Nobody did. Well, as I figured. Welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky. I'm Cinder 9 Again, Needle- Ha! He came with another leather jacket! I was hoping for that! <laughs> yes! And work boots. Excellent! Good. I don't feel bad about taking the, uh, taking the items. Not one bit. Uh, Quick Draw Howling Bullet is his uh, S-Craft. Uh, he's level 15! Uh, we'll catch up eventually, I'm sure. Ornament-wise, he has uh, EP1, Hit 1, Attack, and a couple of Open Quartz. You're the Bard. You're on healing duty. Tier and Law Tier, and he has another Open Slot. Let's give him... Defense one, why not? 
and I'll take all of the other slots when I get another character, or all the orbs back. So, items, shoes, smelling salts, I'm fine with that. Oliver or Olivier, I don't know. I'm just gonna say Oliver even though I see the other eye. Yes, I know, I see the second eye. Len Hun. Let's just call him Ollie for short. You're now Ollie! Good amount of strength, he has higher defense because of the uh the uh defense warp thing, whatever. Range of five gun. Only two more than the uh, than the whip. It's interesting, but it is more, and does have good arts. So he said he is confident in his magic. So there is that. Uh, low movement, however, so he really needs to make those uh, make that range five count. Okay, looks like we're gonna head to the south block to try to uh, do our own investigation. Let's first of all pick up our money from the Post Bracer Guild. See payment from Mayor Mabo for your investigative efforts thus far. Missing airliner. Uh, gain BP 5 plus 1. Payment Mira 6,000. Current rate Junior Bracer 6 class. Ray. Failed. Man, it really went that far? Well, great. Term short. When was the escort request? Ah. Hmm. I really don't want to do everything again. Tell you what, I may just cast my time magic and go back in time if I have a safe point close enough. Guess here. Here would work. And do those, and then just go back through the uh, those parts off screen. Uh, we'll see. Let me. Let me take a look and either I'll cut back here or cut to one of the uh, missions. So, see you in a bit either way. Alright everyone, I decided to go ahead and do the uh, the side jumps because why not. Here we are at the uh, Frieden Hotel. Hello. Oh, for sure. Pardon us, are you Mr. Hart? Huh? Did by chance you see my request on the bulletin board? Yep, that's right. Oh, you finally came, huh? Been waiting around here forever. I need to get to Ruin ASAP. So I'm looking for an escort to take me to Crone Pass. What do you say? Think you can handle that? Yeah, sure. Hey, exactly, Estelle. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad to hear that. You guys are like saviors. Here the mountain trail has a lot of monsters, so I'm too scared to walk it alone. What are you going to do after you reach the checkpoint? I've got the guild taking care of that, too. I've got a bracer from the Ruan branch coming to meet me there. Ah, I see. What should we do now? Everyone ready to go? No, I think we should meet up somewhere else later. We need to prepare for the trip. Fine by me. I'll be waiting at the west gate, so once you're ready to go, please come find me. Okay. Let's see. West gate, huh? By the mayor's residence. Okay, then. Let's get to work, shall we? Roger that! Agreed. But we're already geared to go. So shouldn't be a uh, shouldn't be a problem for us unless we run into something. Something. <laughs> Thing is it says the difficulty of this is high. So we're we gonna run into something big on the way? Yeah, let's go. Chrome passes to the west of here. It's pretty far, so let's not get careless along the way. Understood. Let's get going, shall we? Let's. Okay. Now, there could be a monster along here as well, and that's the problem. 
because we also have no this button we also have the West Boast monster uh, first this monster known as Thunderquake has been spotted roving the West Boast Highway we have to do this one as well because this one also expired I think those were the two that expired so that's gonna be this episode we're gonna get these out of the way and then I'll go back and do the fights <laughs> just off camera I don't think it'll be that big of a deal and do the whole I'll skip to the whole Oliver thing we'll get all that back hi huh the shame of this is is that they attack males which our uh, NBC is We'll send Joshua forward and have him dodge. That's that's better. Even better than taking hits is dodge. All right. Oh. Not it off. Well. I wish the stealth could hit. But that's not going to be the case. So let's see what comes of this. Oh, that's not good. Wild Awakening. Strength up. Yeah, and that critical is just wasted. Ugh. Oh, jeez. What's with the missing, people? Come on. Now you've nodded off. You're nodding off. You're stunned. Okay, this is annoying. And you're gonna get strength up again, plus the heal. Okay, just kill something. Now you need to die. Hopefully, this still will hit. Good. All right. Yeah, that strength up makes a difference. And then you just know. Alright. Now see, we want to head to the Crone Trail. So we'll head this way. Oh, I saw a monster. Now, if I even if I see the target, I don't want to hit it because it may just nuke the NPC and then we lose. But at least if I see it, I'll know where it is and I can take care of it. There it is. Two birds, one stone. Come on. How much HP you got? 1,844, very weak to earth, and a little weak to fire. Gives evade too. Monster not native to the boast region that emits a blinding shock. Well, you do know a stone attack. Nobody else does though, so... Firebolt. And Firebolt. World Shaker. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Stone hammer. Oh, you could take some hits too. All right. Firebolt. Firebolt. I'll take a little more than than a round of this. 20, that's good. That may just put it within... No. Still don't think it'll die. World Shaker again! Firebolt? 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 
And you will cast faster though. Goodbye. Stone hammer. Good enough. Surrey Monster on East Coast Highway. Uh, we didn't get the uh, Evade 2. That's a shame. It didn't drop. Oh, well. Let's see. It was 200. It was 200. Stores 20 CP. Um. Cures 1. Part of DHB, learned vegetable sandwich. Hmm. Oh, I don't have any steak. Forgot to get steak. Uh, for the vegetable sandwich, you need, and it's to go, so you can uh, make it and not have to use it. You need a crisp onion, flaky potato, and five milled flour. And you have a sandwich that heals 150 HP. Not bad. Make pasta. Which we have quite a bit still pasta we can make. And we'll heal the rest of the party up with La Tier. Good. Okay, that's one thing done. And the NPC didn't die, which is good. Now, you could fight it over and over again to try to get the Evade 2 drop. But, uh, we're just going to move on. Chrome Trail Checkpoint. Well, we've got a long ways to go. And new enemies, of course. Should be a preempt. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Boiled Egger R. <laughs> what an inspired name. A soft-bodied monster in a shell uses fire-based arts. Explodes when defeated. Great. Only thing it's weak to is water. It's got quite a bit of HP too. So we are gonna have to cast on it. Soul blur. Aqua bleed. And even with the resist, this should be enough. Airstrike. Sub destruct. Hey, it drops something. Got olive oil. Neat. Free olive oil. That's kind of kind of expensive. It's the most expensive thing out of the pasta, I think. Well, we're gonna dodge you just because you take. Hello. You take, uh. Arts to really beat. It's a Queen Scorpion! We've fought these before already! We know they have pretty good defense. Doesn't help when you miss. But they are weak to air. Again, EP. There we go. With the preamp, if everybody swings and hits, you might be able to do enough. To where you don't have to use any EP. If there's more than one to avoid taking damage, you're probably going to have to cast. Hello. Uh, free tier bomb. Chest has been cleaned out. Villainous! No, just adventurers. Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Uh oh. Huh? What was that? I could have sworn something moved. Got jumped like I thought we were going to. Is this an ambush? Oh, that's not good. I didn't expect more. What are we gonna do? Calm down. We got you covered. There are monsters to the front and the rear? Alright then, it's time to... 
Charge through the front, protect the rear. Considering where he's at, let's protect the rear. Protect the rear! Estelle, don't split up! Crap, I'm too late. Huh? We're completely surrounded. Did I make the wrong choice? Worry about that later. Right now, we've got our hands full with these monsters. Well, either way, she was gonna split up. That's the problem. This is why it's, uh, hard, huh? Like, you can already tell. Strength up, defense down. Hmm. I wonder if you charge through the front, if it would be any different. Now I'm curious. Oh, great. Asleep. <laughs> Flicker, huh? Can I get more than one? A dirty calculating sheep. Beware of its sleep attacks. 378 HP. A little weak to everything, but... Flicker! Attack delay. I like that. Oh, if Estelle was awake, it would have been perfect. Because she could have, uh... I don't remember the move. I haven't used it in a while. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Sylvan Whip. There goes one. God, I still might just get knocked out. Defense down, strength up. Defense down, strength up. Everybody lived. Good. Flicker. I like that. Good. Now. Hurricane. Oh, yeah. We can get everybody. There we go. Hmm, not as much as I wanted, to be honest. Okay. Sylvan Whip. <laughs> Sadist Whip. Sever. And Pummel. Good. Make use of your multi-hitting attacks, and as long as you can survive the first go, you'll be okay. <laughs> Seven monster tails. Oh, they didn't all drop one. Whew. Somehow, we managed to get them all. Oh, man. You guys really saved my hide. Hey, I told you everything was going to be all right, didn't I? I can't believe we came out of this. This in one non-bloody piece. I gotta say, bracers are something else. It's amazing how you took care of those monsters just like that. <laughs> when it comes to my skill with the staff, it's all over for these monsters. How about I give you a free performance while we're at it? Knock it off, Estelle. If not for your poor judgment, we could have taken care of these monsters a lot easier. <sighs> Oops. Well, I think this was a good learning experience at any rate. Let's move on out. We could be attacked by monsters again if we stay here too long. Yes, I'm in favor of leaving. Let's go, go, go. I will not be a monster snack. I will not be a monster snack. I will not be a monster snack. Checkpoint is just up ahead, so let's be extra careful until we arrive there. Okay. I really don't see how charging forward would... I guess because you could charge forward and then look back around. I, 
I suppose? But then if you fail to charge forward, you're even you're in even worse shape. Sorry, that's the strategist in me talking. All's well that ends okay. Let's move on and get this guy there. Then I'm going to end the episode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show what happens if you choose the other option. Because I'm curious. Monsters appeared. What? Oh, no. <laughs> you remember these guys. Wisdom. But now there's several of them. Hmm. I don't mind that fight. I just don't want to do it with A, the NPC here, and B, with no CP. But I don't mind that one. I'll go back and do that one. Crone Pass. Check. Well, it looks like we finally made it. Whew. That was a pretty rough climb, huh? Well, we can breathe easy now. I think your escort from Ruin should be here any time now. Hmm? And speak of the devil, look who's here. Good work, everyone. I'm Junior Bracer Melvin, registered with the Ruan branch. Good work yourself. This is your client, Mr. Hart. Please make sure he gets to Ruan safely. Will do. Just follow me, sir. I'll get you where you need to go. I'm your man. By a deus. So much coffee have you had, young man. Whatever. I'm counting on you to get me where I need to go. Alright, thanks for getting me up here, everyone. Have a good one. Good luck with your work. <laughs> right. I'm already late as it is. I'll see what I can do. Okay, have a good day, fellow bracers. Super cheerful and pumped up. <laughs> Maybe a lot of caffeine. Who knows? That guy was really over the top energy-wise. Said he was a junior bracer, right? Which means he's a trainee, just like us, working out of a branch. Yep, you're not the only ones. All junior bracers do that. They're working hard to become senior bracers. Oh man, looks like I'm gonna have to work harder. That's right. Wouldn't be right of us to just rely on Shara all the time. <laughs> it looks like that bracer stimulated your motivation a bit, didn't he? Let's see now. How about we get back and report to the guild? Escort request complete. Okay, like I said, this is really the end of the episode, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back there, and we're going to choose the other option, just to see if it makes a difference. Uh, I want to save, not here, I want to save here. Well, let's do this first, because I have a, uh, have an idea. Let's turn this in, and I want to see what the reward is, and then I want to choose the other option and see if the reward changes. It's not that far of a trek back, especially if I can avoid the fights. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, and then as soon as I... <sighs> LP curse go. As soon as I say something. Attack. Still, this won't take too long. Hit. And airstrike, you'll get one go. And then you do. You lose. Okay. Now maybe there won't be any other fights. Now we just have to run back. It'd be nice if there was like a teleport. Can I get a warp spell or something? <laughs> Where I can get back to town easily? Just wondering, you know, I'm honestly curious because walking back, I spend a lot of time traveling on the road. You know, just walking from place to place. Especially when doing these uh, 
side quest type things. Do you feel the same way that there's a lot of time spent traveling? Like maybe later we'll have an easier way to travel, I don't know. It just seems like we spend a lot of time traveling. Almost there. Like this took like... Let me see. Two, two and a half minutes? Around there? Alright, let's turn this in. Then I'll cut. I'll choose the other option so we can see if the battle goes differently. And then... I'll cut again. We'll come here. And we'll see if the reward's different. Escort request, 1,000 mirror, 4 BP. Okay, 1,000 mirror, 4 BP. And then there's the monster we'll also be turning in, 1,204. Junior Bracer, 7th class. Okay. So, see you back at that option in just a sec. Alright, then it's time to charge to the front. Charge to the front! Right, good call, Estelle. Could be dangerous if we get split up. Yeah, but if you fail to charge the Sorry, as a strategist, I disagree with this. Like, you could, even if you're surrounded, as strong as you all are, if you kind of form the per- And it shouldn't be a surprise attack either. If we kind of form a perimeter around the VIP, because in, in normal circumstances, yes, you could charge the front and be okay, but we're guarding somebody. What if they fall behind? I think it'd be better to set up a defensive per- Sorry, again, the strategist in me. Okay. So it is gonna be easier. Wow, I, I still just, whatever. So it's an easier fight. You fa you'll face four than four. Which does make it a lot easier. Like, I don't see why it's not the same thing. You can protect the rear and, and you can, you know, get rid of the rear ones and then the ones in front. Or again, you're protecting a VIP. While we're fighting this, the enemies could be jumping the VIP right now. Please tell me I'm not the only one that sees this. Again, I'm... I have a, a strategist mind when it comes to this kind of stuff. I do. If you haven't seen my uh, Advance Wars LP... Check that out. It's one of the first LPs I did. But check that or Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics LP, anything like that. I think of myself as a strategist when it comes to things like this. Anyway, it's an easier fight. So what we're going to do, because we don't have to deal so much with so much at once... In some ways, it's still not an easier fight. Crit! Oh, goodness. Defense down, strength up. Because then you're going to have to face the other four. You can't really make as as much of use of the... Uh, of having... Like, uh... Lion attacks and things like that. In the end, I still think I came out ahead. Alright. Hit. With a critical, that takes care of you. Bad touch. I like that because they're cheap. <laughs> Attack. La tier. I want to make sure that she doesn't accidentally run out of the uh, run out of the radius. And I see that's going to be a problem later. Uh, it's unlike other uh, turn-based RPGs with the square system like you see here, you can usually move and then attack. 
instead of it having been be done in all one go. And you may say, well, why is that? Why is that a big deal? With the move and attack system, you could be more precise, which is the key. So you can move exactly where you want and then swing. Now we can turn around and face those. But again, why didn't they jump us? They were smart enough to spring an ambush, which means they should be smart enough to, while we're attempting to charge through the front, to hit us from behind. Whatever. Again, I'm just sorry. It just, <laughs> I disagree. All right, there's only a few of them left. Don't get careless. Yeah, now you attack. So four and four. So we fight again. Let's, uh, dual strike. Now this does save CP at the end, I suppose. Strength up, defense down. Tier. nearest you. You're gonna hit Joshua. Tear. Okay. Can't quite hit that one. It's a shame. Swing. Flicker? I really like the way that attack looks. It just moves really fast, disappears, and hits everything in the line. I don't know. It looks really cool to me. I don't know what you all think about it. It's down, strength up. It's down, strength up. Dead. Should kill, yes. Level up. I don't know how many monster tails we got the first time. Phew! Somehow, managed to get them all. Turns out everything was gonna be alright. Nobody pleat piece. Let's see what the staff is all for these monsters. How about I give you a free performance while we're at it? Alright, alright, Estelle. Unfortunately, we'll have to pass. How about another day? Let's get out of here quickly. Yeah, don't get as, uh, as chewed out. Still think I was right. Alright, so I'm gonna, again, cut here, meet you back in town, we'll turn this up. Could you by any chance be Spence? Oh, you're braces, are you? I've been waiting for you to come. Guess we can dispense with the formalities then. I understand you're trying to find places where the bear claw grows, correct? Yes, the bear claw is a medicinal herb that's difficult to find in these parts. Up until now, I've been having them shipped from Roland. Just recently, I was asked by Father Holstein to repair a new medicine. Seems I'm going to be using more of these than before, so I decided to find my own sources. Hmm, the bear claw, huh? If I remember right, it grows in the forest of Mistwald in Roland. Bear claw is said to grow well in humid locations. Pretty sure it grows, probably grows in a place like that in boats. Man, I guess all we can do is hit the road and start conducting a thorough search. Such investigations are an important part of a bracer's work. Just think of it as a good opportunity to learn. I guess there's no other option, huh? Alright, if we come across any bear claw flowers, we'll come and let you know. Okay, I'm counting on you kids. Be careful out there. While I was searching for, uh... 
an item. By the way, I fought the treasure chest. Thought I'd make that point. Uh, I highly recommend having full CP. And what you'll do, the first round, have everybody choose a different enemy to cast on. Cast, cast, cast. Use the uh, S-Craft, I forget what it's called, kind of the breaker move. Kill those three off. And then focus on the last one. They can cast a very damaging spell called Shadow Spear, and it also has a chance to insta-kill. So I had to use a revive because Joshua got insta-killed. <laughs> That's what I was here looking for. Full disclosure, see? Now, uh, what you get from that treasure chest is a pearl earring. S prevent seal, which I assume is where you can't cast. I could be wrong on that, but... Uh, I gave it to Estelle because she's the one that casts the healing spells. Hmm. Oh, I do need marbled steak as a hundred apiece. Yikes. I'll come back. Alright, let's turn this in and see if the uh, reward changes. Escort request. It does. 200 extra mirror and an extra BP. There you go. West Coast Monsters, the same. Junior Bracer, 7th class. So, one more BP and a little extra cash. I like that it has a consequence, though. I just still think I was right. <laughs> the uh, Rest are Medium, the New Ansel Path, the Nebel Valley Monster, and the Bear Claw Survey. So, I'm assuming that I just am about to head to those. We'll see. That's going to do it for this episode of Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. Again, I really want to show off as much as I can. And I'm kind of glad I caught those so we could, could see uh, how, those, how those go. And you can see it. This is not a walkthrough by any means, <laughs> but I would still like it to be able to be used as such if people are having a problem or having problems. I might, I might try to do something with that. That way, people can find exactly what's going on if they want to find kind of a walkthrough for this. But anyway, I'm just talking to myself at this point. I don't think. I think either in this new Ansel Path or the Nebel Valley, we'll find the Bear Claw or somewhere around there. So we'll take a look as kind of we travel along. I need to go back and catch back up. So go through the abandoned mine and do all of that again. Fun times. So next time we meet, I'll have a... Uh, Oliver or uh, Olivia or I don't know how to pronounce it again I'm just gonna call him Ollie or Oliver if that's incorrect I apologize it's hard for me to know exactly how a name is supposed to be pronounced when there's a uh, no nobody says it in game and do you have that problem too I've kind of asked a few questions here hopefully you'll respond in the comments and let me know I'm always interested to hear what you have to say about things that I'm thinking about. That's why I kind of put the question out there for you to interact with. Don't be shy. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> you know, you could just say, no, Sindral, I don't have a problem pronouncing people's names because I just go with it or whatever. You know, it's, that's okay too. That's just what happens to me. If I don't hear the name, Especially as, an, as a uh, Let's Player, if I don't hear the name, then I'm kind of stuck with just making up the pronunciation or going with what a uh, maybe popular pronunciation for the name could be. It could be completely different. Or uh, maybe I just go with the short name, like Ollie. <laughs> what do you think you would do? Or if you are an LPer of some kind, or make videos, or speak for a living, or just in general have to deal with names... What, uh, how do you deal with the first pronunciation? Do you just go for it and then kind of ask them, hey, 
you know, is that how you pronounce it? And it's hard for me to do here because I can't ask Ollie. Hey, Ollie, is that how you pronounce your name? <laughs> it's not like it speaks back to me. If he ever does start speaking back to me, I have a problem. <laughs> because there's no VA so far in the game. So I can't hear how the name is pronounced. Anyway, let me know. And about the other question earlier, and because of cuts, I forget what it was. But, again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.